Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Gemini. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much, soul tribe, for your continuous love and support. And welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers as well. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I appreciate you all, love. Thank you so much. And welcome, Gems. Welcome to the ones that are new here as well. Thank you for sharing your time with me today, Gemini. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, don't forget to subscribe as well. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for all 12 signs. And also, love live stream questions, all right? So, no further ado, Gems. We're going to go ahead and dive into your general love reading. If you would like to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box, all right? We're going to dive directly into some tarot today and see who is in your energy and why, all right? So no further ado, Gems. Let's go ahead and dive in. What do we have for Gemini placement, Spirit Team? What's the collective messages here for Gemini placements when it comes to their love life? What's going on in Gemini's love life here? Let's see who is in your energy here, Gems, today and why. What do we have for Gemini placements? Wow, we have the Page of Coins, a.k.a. the Page of Pentacles, okay? Some of y'all, there's an offer of a communication that's coming in towards you. This could be a Earth sign as well for some of you all. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see what information we can get out of this energy here. Some of y'all, this could be in the form of communication through a phone call, a text message, or like an in-person visit here. Clarify the page of pinnacles. Some of y'all could be going back to school. You could be getting some type of certification here or some type of new financial opportunity that's presenting itself to you. Clarify the page of pinnacles. Tell me more about this offer for Gemini placements. Let's clarify to see who this is and what their intentions here is, Gems. Wow, the two of swords. You're showing up indecisive, however. I feel like you're not quite too sure. You may be still trying to make a decision if you want to accept this offer. What else? Tell me more about this person that is in Gemini's energy here. What else do Gemini need to know here? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, you definitely got communication coming in. This could also be from a fire sign. I'm hearing an Aquarius. Some of you this press could be Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini like yourself. They could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo. Or they could be a fire sign with the Eight of Wands. That is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. I feel like you're having to make a decision here between two different situations or two different people. These are two different people here that are coming towards you with some good news. Um, but at this point, because you don't know everything, I feel like about this person or offer you're having to make a decision and kind of use your discernment here, Gemini. Let's see why you're indecisive here. Clarify the Two of Swords. Why do we have the Two of Swords here? We 
we have the Knight of Swords. Wow. So you have an ex for some of you all. This is someone that you're already aware of, of you already had relations with this person. They've already brought you an offer here once before in the past. Again, they could be Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini like yourself. It's like they're coming towards you with some news, and then you're hearing some more news from a fire sign or whatever news that this is that's coming towards you. That's an opportunity for you here as well. So it's like as you're trying to focus on other aspects of your life or other opportunities that are coming in towards you, Gemini, you also have, uh, which is it's pretty much um, spanatory. Uh, we are going into another season of Mercury retrograde, which is your ruler planet um, that is going into retrograde. So a lot of past events, a lot of past situations from people, places and situations are coming back up. And that is what Mercury retrograde is for. It gives you the opportunity to revise, re evaluate your choices and options that you may have chosen in your past. And then once you can realize what those are beneficial to you, then you move forward is what the retrograde gives you the benefit to do. So there's definitely someone as in a person here that is returning from your past that you may be a little iffy about. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about this energy here. I feel like they hit you up with an offer, but you're not too confident in this offer here. Wow, the two of cups. This is why you're indecisive about this person, because you still see this person as someone that you have feelings towards. Don't look at me like that. This is what's coming out. The two of cups talks about choosing an option or choosing something or someone that you love. Choosing what you love. This could also be a Cancer here with the Two of Cups, or this could be a Pisces or a Scorpio here. Clarify the Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups, please. Wow, the horror fonts. Some of y'all, this could have been someone that you were in a commitment with once before. Or had a relationship with once before. Others of you all, this person is coming towards you because they want to offer you a new beginning. This could be again a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. And they could be a Taurus here for others of you all with the hard front here. Wow. So this is why you're indecisive because it's like everything that this person is coming towards you and mentioning to you it all sounds good and dandy but i feel like there's a part of you that don't still trust this person due to whatever past events or whatever the past situation or circumstance was that you were conflicted with this person about in the past wow so let's see about this energy or whatever this news here is that's coming towards you in the near future Tell me more about the Eight of Staff. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands, please. Wow, Gemini, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, smash that like button, Gems. That would be very much appreciated. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. We have Judgment. Wow, we got the eight of wands here as well. So some of you all, this could be a fire sign here that wants to come towards you as well with a new beginning. So as I mentioned earlier, you have a decision to make between two different people here. But the crazy thing here is, Gemini, is that both of these energies here have done wrong towards you in the past. They've done things that kind of gives you a side eye about these individuals here. And you're not knowing as if you should 
give either one a chance or just throw both of them in the trash. You know what I'm saying? Clarify just because they both have or both have had an issue here that you had to deal with. Clarify judgment. Why we have judgment here? The ace of wands, it comes out again. So I feel like someone definitely wants to rectify a situation here with you with the judgment card and the ace of wands because they clearly want a new beginning with you. But the question is, have they addressed the elephant in the room? Because judgment is here. There's something here, obviously, that they had to put to an end or rectify with you before they could even move forward with you. Why else do we have judgment on the ace of wands here? Why else do we have judgment in the Ace of Wands for this energy? Again, they could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries. The Nine of Cups. Damn. This person is in love with you. They see you as their wish for fulfillment here, Gemini. This fire sign, or they could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. But whoever this energy here is... They definitely feel like that you are their dreams come true type of energy here. They could be at a distance from you. You could have met this person online. But they pray about this. They definitely are looking forward to wanting to give you a solid offer here as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. But look, this is like I said. They both have an issue that has to be resolved. This person hurt you. Three of Swords. They could be, again, an air sign like yourself, Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini here. Yeah, but I feel like you decided to move on. Mm-hmm. So let's see what these energies here want to say. I'm going to clarify this energy to see how they feel about you. And then we'll clarify. Wow, that was quick. And then we'll clarify this energy over here. This person got something to say. It's time to check in, Gems. Okay. So this person here had to realize that they had to check in with their behavior or check in with whatever may has conflicted you and make their wrong, make their rights with you basically here. We have nighttime. Nighttime could be significant for this energy. We also have it's not any fun without you. So I feel like this could have been someone that you had a real good time with. You always hung out with this person and you two have always done things together a lot. And this person misses those activities or, uh, you know, the connection overall that you've had with this person here. Wow. Yeah, we got let's fix this problem. So this person uh, definitely wants to address the elephant in the room here. Oh my goodness, we got, I follow you around the city. <laughs> you always have someone either watching you or doing something weird like this, but this person definitely still keeps tabs on you. They definitely do observe you here and watch you, okay? So let's see about this energy here. Let's see how are they feeling towards you here. Wow, so some of y'all definitely have two different energies here that are around in your space and environment. You have someone from the past, and then you have someone new here for some of you all and others of you all. You have the same, you got two different exes coming back towards you. Take it out of resonance for you. Look at that. We got the grass is not green on this side. Wow. And then we have, this is not over. <laughs> so this person is definitely not giving up quite easy here. And then we have, I don't care, I want you. Wow. So I feel like whoever this person was, they could have cheated on you or put you involved in a third party here with someone else. Okay. And this energy here, whatever that they done, they could have definitely manipulated the situation with you having you believe in something that wasn't true or wasn't what this person imagined for it to be. 
Wow, gems. Yeah, I am going to leave this portion of the reading here. Definitely, gems, that this reading has given you some enlightenment, some confirmation on what you maybe was intuitively picking up about these two, two different energies here. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this message with who you know, Gemini, the message could be very useful for. And comment down below your feedback on it for the ones that it resonated here with, all right? Again, if you would love to book a personal reading to get more insight, more detail, or kind of see what's going to be the potential outcome for each of these energies, and maybe which route or option is best for you to go. My email details, again, are down below, Gemini, in the description box if you would like to book a personal reading. Definitely, again, if you're new here, like, subscribe, and come and check us out on Patreon if you would love more content from my channel. I love you, and I definitely wish you and these circumstances the best, my loves. Choose wisely, gems. Bye-bye.